Parts of the far south metro, places like Blanchard and in also into McLean County dealing with damage this morning. That includes for the second time in less than a month, people living near Cole, Oklahoma. New science Natalie Cruz is live there and continues our team coverage. Natalie. Storm, good morning. We are off of the intersection 44 and 44B, right in between Cole and Goldsme, and we've been driving around for quite a while. Now, the good news is, is just like you said, Cole last month was just hit, and right now there's very minor damage to the area as far as we're concerned. Like I said, we've been driving around. It's very quiet. Um, we did see one mobile home that had parts of its roof damaged, and we've seen some trees down. We've seen a couple pieces of sheet metal, but the good news is, is that the sheriff, uh, McLean County Sheriff, says that there's been no injury so far. Of course, they've been going up and down assessing homes. Take a listen to what he had to say with our coverage last night. They're traveling up and down the county roads and the highways searching for damage and uh, stopping at each house and seeing if they are and checking with the people at those houses. And we've actually been able to talk to a couple sheriffs that have been driving down the areas. Since it is really dark, it's hard to see the damage. So a couple people at the command post have headed back home until the daylight. Um, so that way they can see clearly and see more of the damage and see if um, they need to assess anything else. But so far, so good. No injuries. So that's the good news. We'll stay here all morning long and bring you any updates as they become available. In Cole, I'm Natalie Cruz for Oklahoma Zone News 9.